All right, Trump tax plan. Two things you can always count on in life is death and taxes. Well, let's see what we can do about minimizing taxes. That's why I invited Sandy Bodkin to advise us on how to take best advantage on how to get richer in the future by giving us his insight on the Trump tax plan. Expert Sandy Bodkin, author of Lawyer Taxes Big Time. And let me give you a couple of things you're never gonna see in the media, I promise. Here's the juice. The first, the first thing that you're not hearing is that yes, federal taxes will go down, but for most people, state income taxes will go up because like, the state, like Illinois. Yeah, yeah. right, like Illinois, because the state taxes you pretty much on the same deductions that the federal has for itemized deductions and so on, uh, that they usually give lower exemptions and things like that, they have their own rules. But the problem is, so the dedu deductions are being, some deductions are being eliminated, but the state hasn't reduced their rates. The second thing they're gonna see is some business deductions have been eliminated, not to mention uh, some fringe benefits for employees have been eliminated. Well, that'll mean more social security taxes. So FICA taxes are gonna go up a little bit. So between those two, that will take away some of the benefit of the federal tax cuts. But bottom line, what I realized being an entrepreneur for all this time, it's the greatest era to be an entrepreneur this coming year in the year ahead. Why? Sandy Bakken lets us know that the taxes are incentivizing us and encouraging us to take ownership and take financial control for ourselves through entrepreneurship. Here's what he said. Is this still an era, 2017 and beyond? Is this Absolutely. still the era to be an entrepreneur? Absolutely. If, if anything, it's more go-go now than ever. If I were to give my recommendation to anyone, I would tell them, forget about putting in overtime. Forget about you know working like a dog for that boss that is spelled backwards, double S-O-B. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> instead, go start up a side business. You might be, it'll be subsidized. At least you'll get some losses against your earnings this year. And you'll be able to carry it, carry it forward if you have a loss and, and use that money and maybe make enough money where you can quit that job. Ski, snowboarding, me, best part about it, doing side by side with my mentor, CEO, Patrick Red David, at a $25 million lodge in Lake Tahoe. Who knows how to ski? Skiing like we do back in uh, Iran in the Philippines, oh, yeah. right, Patrick? I mean, it's natural for us, right? To go to school on skis on sand, for me at least, in the Middle East. The closest thing I came to skis was brewski. <laughs> and this year, third annual million dollar retreat was held at a $25 million lodge. Fantastic place for us to have our minds clear, exchange ideas. And the best part about it, we we're only one of four instructors to teach on how to run a million dollar business alongside Patrick. I'm not limiting myself, nor should any woman limit themselves to being just a mom, right? Because a mother is so much bigger than that. A mother prepares them for the world, which includes managing, raising them, but also making sure they have to fulfill a purpose for themselves. Steve, it's Steve. How many guys are around a crazy CEO? How many guys are around a crazy mentor? Well, we are. You know what Patrick just challenged us to do? He challenged 20 of us, 20 of us, to run a million dollar business this year ahead. And when we do so, not only do we get a cash bonus, we get a trip to Italy to tour the Ferrari factory. We pick up our keys to our customized Ferrari in Italy. How's that for a crazy CEO, huh? To top it all off, we get visited by a bear. It's not something you see every day at a million point base shop retreat. There's a bear right there. <laughs> it's a Chicago bear. <laughs> bear down, Chicago bears. That's all I know. I know what you're thinking, right? New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, popping bottles, hanging out at the clubs. <laughs> Not the way you're thinking. MSM, I hope you're pushing to the very last moment. We're here with our newest guy, We. We're about to bust out some phone calls. I want to encourage you guys to continue to push. I want to encourage you guys, don't get caught up in the broken knees, man. Don't get caught up in being normal. Normal people right now are partying, having a great time, popping bottles, but don't be normal because normal people are normally broke. Push to the very last minute. See you at closeout. And does it all pay off? Heck yeah, it paid off. We put on three more marketing directors, individuals running their own business. Rubio Sorry Gonzalez right here out of Oak Brook. Edgar Diaz and Iris Avalar out of Gilroy, California in Silicon Valley, promoted marketing director. And number three is Richard Monique Welch out of Atlanta, Georgia. The interesting thing about Edgar and Iris, Richard and Monique, is that they were at a competing company, is that they've been able to accomplish more in four months than they were in a year and a half at the previous company. And what we did differently was simply change what we did on evenings and weekends, especially holidays, to get ahead for All oh, this all work and no play tops up, man. I'm grabbing me a drink, man. Oh, you're recording? 
thing the joke around the office is that PHB Agency was one of the greatest companies in America that prevented DUIs. So that's our guys from coast to coast there on video conference. And these are our guys here in Oprah, yeah. baby. Yeah. You guys ready to do it? Here we go. Let's push it up. Go, big dog, get it. Never above you. Never above you. Never below you. Never below you. Never below you. Right beside you. Right, right, right beside you. Have a sub, baby. recently on Bernard Bergen's podcast called Veteran Leadership. And I talked about the four things necessary to lead yourself into the new year by creating results, not just resolutions. And they are, number one, you gotta lead by example, by taking ownership for your own self, your, your own success, not waiting for somebody to tell you to do something. You see, employees wait for somebody to tell them to do something. But entrepreneurs, people that say, you know what, I wanna do something big and different, I wanna do something bold, they take action, they take initiative. So this year, allow yourself to lead by personal example. Number two, lead with speed. Create urgency, create deadlines. Best off, create yourself a new record that you can break, something tangible that you can break, whether it's paying off your debt sooner and faster, whether it's a savings goal, whether that's an income goal, create a new deadline for you, create a new record that you can break and reach for every month. Number three, leaders are readers. I know what you're saying, and I was there with you too as well. I remember when I was young, and broke. I didn't want to get past the book. I didn't even get past page 19, let alone the table of contents. But one thing I realized that if I wanted success in my life, if I wanted to advance financially, I've got to learn from other people's wisdom, guidance, and success and worse failures. And that's what books do for me. Books allow me to see and absorb in two, 300 pages what they did right and what they didn't do right, so therefore I can get ahead financially. And number four, leaders are consistent. You've got to anticipate that when you decide and we speak out loud that you're gonna do something big in life, that life wants to hit you in the mouth, that you gotta anticipate distractions. And what leaders do, they anticipate those distractions and they still remain consistent. I know you probably, based on life, you're gonna face a health challenge, you're gonna face a financial challenge, you're gonna face a family challenge. One thing I realized about successful people that in spite of the chaos, they still remain consistent. They show up because the best ability is availability. And that does it for this episode of Living Money Smart. Listen guys, I really value your comments, even your questions. So if you can drop the comments below, let me know what you're thinking, let me know what some of your questions are. Even you might be featured in our next episode of Living Money Smart. If you found value to this video, please like our page on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe right here. And bottom line guys, share, 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 because sharing is caring. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Take one. The interesting thing, the interesting thing, uh, well listen, taxes aren't always that bad. It's always, uh, what am I trying to say there? Two things you can always count on in life is death and taxes. So in order to, <laughs> the best part about it, we're one of the many, the best part about it, have our, have our conscience, Great place for having, great place for having, great place for having. <laughs> oh, you shooting ready?